Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the name brand versus off brand. I don't know if it's a challenge or whatever it is, but I'm going to be trying all of these items here. There is a lot, there is 14, 14. Um, my sister will be coming in the video like you saw in the thumbnail because she's going to be giving me the name brand version and the off brand version and I'm going to guess which one is the name brand and which one I like better, I think. Yes. So, so if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, I'm also going to be blindfolded because obviously I'm trying to guess which one it is. So now I'm gonna blindfold myself and she's gonna take it away. <laughs> so both of these boxes of mac and cheese were made the exact same way using the exact same ingredients so we did want to keep that side of things the same so same milk same butter same preparation method for both of them uh it is just the product that is going to be name brand or store brand upon first look though this one here is going to be your classic mac and cheese good old blue box that one appears to be a little bit darker and a little more cheesy than our off-brand here. So, I am going to be pointing to the one I'm going to give her first. So she has no idea. I'm going to just switch them around a little bit. I'm just also letting you know, I do not have high hopes for myself for this. You heard it here first. <laughs> so the one I'm going to give her first is going to be this one here. Oh, here's the spoon. <laughs> okay. I hope I have, do I have some on? My spoon? Yep. Mm. Tell me when you're ready for the second one. I'm ready for the second one. Okay. And then obviously the second one, this one right here. And here's the spoon. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I know. Instantly. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna have you hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Did you like number one the best or number two? Two. So she liked this one the best. Okay, now I want you to hold up, which one do you think is the name brand? Number two. one or number two? Two. On blindfold? You are correct. Number two Woo! was, wait, did I do that wrong? That was number two, was that number two? Yeah. Okay, Whew. number two was the mm. store brand. So I gave them this one first, this, this one, one second. She liked the craft this one better. It's a little runnier. Like even though it was made the exact same, it didn't hold it's the milk. It's not as cheesy, right? Yeah, it didn't hold yeah. the milk and the cheese the same. I apologize if you hear dogs barking again. All right, so up next, we are doing the classic Haribo Gold Bears. And unfortunately, Walmart did not have just their great value brand gummy bears. So we got the worms and gummy bears. But don't worry, I picked out the flavors we're going to try. So we do have three different flavors. We have the red one, the white one, and the green one for both. And I don't know if you can tell. Let me hold these up here. Okay, finally, focusing. As you can tell, this one here is significantly bigger. That's this one. Again, I'm gonna give them one flavor at a time and I will point to the bag that I am giving them first. So we're gonna start with the red one. And we are starting with this one here. Should I eat it? No, stare at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is this one. Okay. Okay. Okay, you ready for the second one? So now obviously we are doing this one here. Again, it's the red one. That was good. Okay, I think I know. Okay, I think I have my answer. Okay, hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Number one or number two? Okay, number one was liked the best. Which one do you think is the name brand? Number one or number two? Two. You think number two is the name brand? And number one she liked the best. Okay, you can unmask. You're correct. 
So number two was the Haribo Gold Bears. All right, so up next we are doing Ritz versus the Great Value Naturally Flavored Buttery Rounds Baked Crackers. A lot going on there. So the one I am going to give them first is going to be this one over here. Hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Let me know when you're ready for number two. Right. Then obviously number two, this one right here. Oh, no. And I do have extras on the plate, so if they need another one to try, they can. Mm. Oh my god. Can you tell the difference? That's hard. What? Do you need another taste? No, I think I'm going with my gut. Okay. Hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Okay, that's this one here. Now hold up the finger of the one you think is the name brand. This one here. All right, unmask. You're correct. So this Woo! Damn. Was three for three. Yeah. I said one and one. So now, oh, you said you like this one the best? And yeah. you thought name brand was one? Yeah. Really? The first. Nope. All right. So next, we are going to be trying the Great Value Cheddar Cheese Crackers versus the good old classic original Cheez-Its. And the one I'm going to give her first is going to be this one right here. The one she's trying now is significantly darker than the other one. Uh-oh. This is another uh-oh. I think I need the next one. Need the next one? Ready? That's uh-oh. <laughs> so now the second one we are trying is this one here. I'm gonna try holding these up. Oh no. So that you can see Ooh. the difference here. So this one is significantly like darker than this one. I don't like that. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I don't like that. All right, hold up the finger of the one you like the best. One. Hold up the finger of the one you think is the name brand. One. Unmask. You are correct. This is number one was the cheese it. It tastes like a box. Does it? Yeah, that was the tastes like a box. And look, this one's significantly darker than this one. All right, so we are on to the Oreos. So we have the golden Oreos. My favorite. And then we have the Bowl and Basket, which is a local store here brand. Just their vanilla sandwich cream. So these you're gonna put right in your mouth because obviously there is a noticeable difference. I'm not gonna pick up the packaging, but I'm gonna show you which is where currently. <clears throat> so this is right here on my left, and this one's on my right. So I will point with right or left. Are you ready? So the one I'm gonna give her first, that one. Okay, I like that one. All right, you ready for the second one? Mm-hmm. Obviously, that is going to be the other one. And I'm just gonna show you something really quick. Not only is the design here on the front different, if it'll focus on me. So not only is there a difference in the texture, but if you turn them on their side, I'm gonna say I noticed the texture. There is difference. significantly more cream into this one right here, and by Ooh. simply me just holding them up, you can tell which one I was pointing to that has more cream. That's I didn't notice this the cream one difference. right here. All right, so I want you to hold up the finger of the one you liked the best. Okay, so that was that one. Now hold up the finger of the one you think is the name brand. Also one. A mask. You're correct. Number one oh, was the yeah. brand. It was also the one that she liked the best. I did good. I'm doing good. How many have we done so far? I have no clue. Okay, so next up we have apple juice. And there is going to be a difference here. So I'm interested to see in the taste what it's going to be different with. But you have this one here, which is again, a store brand here. I moved my big head. 
Yeah, there we go. So this one is Fuji apple juice and it is from Wegmans. And then you have good old classic Mott's apple juice, but I am really not sure what apples <laughs> that they use. Put your big heads in the way so it's not focusing. Anyway, so this one obviously looks a lot lighter. It looks like lemonade, whereas this one looks like you're very dehydrated. So I'm gonna mix them up and I'm gonna show you which one I'm gonna give her first. I'm gonna give her this one here first, just so that you can see. Here you go. Don't spill it. Ooh, that tastes good. Okay, give me the next. All right, and number two. I think I know. Oh yeah, I know. All right, hold up the finger of the one you like the best. One. Okay, hold up the finger of the one you think is the name brand. Two. I'm getting mixed up. Yeah, two. One or two, pick your answer. Two. Are you because confident? Because I think one was Wegmans. Okay, a mask. She's correct. Number one was Wegmans. Booyah! Number two was Mott's, but she preferred the store brand in this case. And I'm not sure if the Fuji apple has anything to do with it. But if it you're like me. It fresher, like fresh squeezed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you're like me, I prefer certain kind of apples over others. And this one just sounded better. That's good. So now we are on to the barbecue chips. We have Lay's barbecue chips against the great value barbecue chips. And this one here is a little bit darker, but to be honest, they look almost identical. And the one I'm gonna give her first is gonna be this one here that was here. I almost said what side it was on and that would have ruined it. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you two chips. So again, that is this one right here. And I'll have her put at the bottom which one she's trying. Oh no. There you go. So second one, this one right here. Mm. Okay. I think I know. Hold up the finger of the one that you like the best. Hold up the finger of the one you think is the name brand. Unmask. I think I got that wrong. You were correct. Why do you mm. like this one better? What flavor? Yeah, that one looks like it. Like this one is a, like darker. If you I look at the two, flavor. this one is darker than this one. All right, so next we are doing Pop-Tarts. You got your Great Value Strawberry Toaster Pastries and your Pop-Tarts Frosted Strawberry. So this one here is our store brand. And this one here is our name brand. And I'm gonna break them in half and see if they look different, but you can see that there is definitely a difference on the front. And let's see. For some reason the camera is not focusing, but this one here looks a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna give them this one first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm nervous for this one. Ooh, this one smells good. Does it smell like a pop tart? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Hold up the finger of the one you think's the pop tart. Okay, unmask. You're correct. Number one was great value. Number two was I like was that more. That one has more icing and that it is That one has thicker. a strong flavor, yeah. Like, if you smell them, they, that one has a smell, this one doesn't. All right, so up next, we are having American cheese slices. Yeah, so American cheese slices. Singles, cheese slices. This brand is gonna be on my right hand as normal, and this is going to be on my left. We have Kraft, and we have our bowl and basket. Again, a local grocery store here on that side. And the only difference I'm gonna say is in this one here, it's a little bit lighter. That is the only difference. Other than that, they literally look 
exactly the same. And the one I'm gonna give her first is this one. I've got the burbs now. I'm just gonna kinda, you know, rip it a little bit. <laughs> well, I hate the feeling well, of flimsy piece of cheese. I hate the feeling. <laughs> I, to be honest, I don't either. I don't like it. Blech. I'm not a fan of these cheeses. I'm being honest. Is your, is your call here? Next one. Okay. This is not flops. <laughs> This is a wild guess, man. I'm no Hold idea. up the finger of the one you like the best. Okay. Hold up the one you think is the name brand. Okay, unmask. You're wrong. You like the shopper ones better. This is the name. No! Wait, that's one? Wait, no, I lied. You like the craft ones better. Just I like number two. You like number two, so you liked this one, but you... And I said number was the one name was brand. The name Correct. Brand. Okay, you're right. <gasps> yes. So name brand was number two, but she liked the off brand better. <laughs> you can eat the cheese. All right. So up next we have saltine crackers, but I, feel sick. I don't know. Oh, if you feel sick, perfect saltines. <sighs> when you're sick, eat saltines. <laughs> At least that's what I do. So we have Wegmans unsalted top saltine crackers, and then we have the premium unsalted top saltine crackers. I am going to give them this one. And the one I'm giving them first is a little bit smaller and a little bit darker. Okay, you ready for number two? Okay. Okay. Hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Which one do you like the taste of more? Ah, uh, two. This one. Hold up the finger of the one you think's the name brand. Dun, I think dun, number dun, one. Dun. Number one's the name brand? No. Are you confident yeah. in your answer? I'm just gonna go number one. Okay, locked in. Number one is the name brand, but she liked number two better. You were wrong. Number That's two the Number two was the name brand, and you liked that one better. It is, I don't remember saltines tasting fluffy. As you can see, oh, we've got some lactose-free milk. We've got lactaid. Thank goodness it's lactose. <laughs> the, the great, Free. the great value. Oh, Both of them whole milks. He's sick right now. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. There is literally no difference whatsoever. They both look exactly the same. So let's just taste them. We're gonna go with this one first. Okay, I think I know. Hold up the finger of the one you like the best. One. Hold up the finger of the one you think's the name brand. Two. Unmask. You're incorrect. You liked Lactaid better. Lactaid was number one, but you thought the name brand was number two. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's I thought we got Weg uh, Wegmans, and I love the taste of Wegmans, and that tasted like Wegmans. Ha! Tricked ya. <laughs> Dang it. So next, as you can probably see, these boxes are gonna cover my face, but we have Frosted Flakes and Great Value Frosted Flakes. You can always put one flakes. over on this side if you So need. both of them, no, because I gotta point to them and I don't want you to know which one it is. So both of them are Frosted Flakes. Again, keeping them on the same side, I'm just moving this one to the side. Um, upon first look, they literally look identical. One looks like it might have a little bit more sugar on it than this one. Oh, but gosh. I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to give them this one first. I'm having to dry them wet. Dry <laughs> first. So I'll let you take out of the bowl and then I'll pass it over there. We have a blinking battery. So if this shuts uh -oh. off. No, please stay tuned. Thank you. <laughs> you ready for number two? Yeah. Okay. Number two. Okay. Okay, hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Two. Hold up the finger of the one you think's name brand. Two. Unmask? You're mm -mm. correct. Woo! This was number two, you liked the best, and it was a name brand. Now that was dry, I'm gonna bring back some milk, 
the lactate brand and I'm gonna pour it on both of them and she could try it like that. All right, so up next we have, again, the Frosted Flakes and the other Frosted Flakes, but we are going to try them with milk, lactate in both of them. And I'm going to give her this one first. Let me just double check. Yep, there you go. Be careful, I don't want you to tip the milk on the table. <laughs> You mess your bed down? I don't want you to miss your mouth. <laughs> Do I have some with milk? Yes. Help oh, slurp it. <laughs> <laughs> don't spit it out of your mouth, please. Mm. Oh, those are good. Okay, I'm taking this away from you. Thank you. All right, and we're going to go with the second one. Spoon in the bowl. <laughs> Here, let's, there you go. You got some. Okay, hold the finger of the one you like the best. Wait a second. Does it change in milk? Yeah, it really? does. I like number two better with milk. Not that I not even know. Okay, number two better with milk? And I think one is name brand. You think one is name brand? I'm asking. You're correct. I like two better with milk. We have great value peanut butter and Peter Pan peanut butter. So Not even in the straight off the butter. spoon, comment down below. How do you like to eat your peanut butter? Me personally, I like it straight off the spoon. So that's what we're doing. And the one I'm gonna go with first is this one right here. I'm not even in the mood for peanut butter. Open up. <laughs> I love peanut butter. It should be its own food group. Okay. Mm. Be stuck in the roof of your mouth. Okay, that's enough of that one. Okay, thank you. All right, and then we are going for number two. That was good. I'm so not in the mood for this. Ah. Mm. Are you ready? To oh, wait. Go? I think I know. I, I think you know too, because I think I would be able to tell. Okay, hold up the finger of the one you like the best. Number one. Okay. Hold up the finger of the one you think is the name brand. Alrighty, so that one cut out when I said what I liked and what, whatever. <laughs> um, I liked this one better. I thought the Peter Pan one was kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. So I got it wrong. Um, and I'm recording on my phone right now to finish this off. So I'm going to make it quick. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up because now my stomach hurts and I don't feel well. Also, we are going to put the tally on here of name brand, off brand. Because I know I started to say that in the beginning and I kind of lost track because I can't remember things. So yeah. Yeah. Like the video. Subscribe. Click the bell. All the things that people on YouTube say. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I don't know if people on YouTube.